Hey, I'm Jamie and welcome back. Today we're checking out this, the Big Head Pro from Phil Jones Bass. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know there's actually only one thing that I really care about. And that is, well, what's it sound like? I grew up on skater punk in the 90s, as, as you can see. So this is my stomping grounds right here. A stingray, play it with a pick, I mean, call it a day. So let's run that same exact signal, this time through the Big Head Pro. And I'm gonna use the top end to dial in just a little bit more attack from, from the pick and also beef up the low end as well. It. The top end is much better now. It's got a little sizzle on top. It's perfect for punk rock. However, this kind of music is rarely, you know, dry DI bass on its own. We just about always mic up an amplifier. So let's go ahead and run this same signal through an amp sim. We'll hit the Prime P1 for more audio. We'll come out of that straight in to the Big Head Pro with the same EQ settings as before. Let's see if it fits the track better. Suddenly. Now this was a rented bass from when we filmed the show last year, and it just feels a little lifeless in my hands. So I'm gonna use the Big Head Pro to add some energy and a little bit of fullness to the low end, and we'll also kinda mellow out the top end a bit more than it already is. I think it sounds pretty good. The only thing that I might wanna do is just add a little bit of dynamic control on the front end. So here's what we'll do. We'll hit a compressor, we'll run into the Big Head Pro with the same EQ moves as before, and then we'll pull in the rest of the track so we can hear this in context. And by the way, if you wanna know how I'm making the bass sound this way, not just in this song, but in all of the examples, then check out my deep dive video over on Patreon. <laughs> Now this Harley Benton JP45OP has actually got a pretty nice breakup to it. Because of the way that I'm digging in on it, it's almost like I plugged into a very soft overdrive pedal and we're just barely hitting it. So let's lean into that and see if we can accentuate it with a big top end lift on the Big Head Pro and also a slight bump in the low end too. Because why the hell not? <laughs> So just
just like with the last example, let's hit some compression first. Just tame the dynamics and get a bit of a fuller sound. Then we'll run into the Big Head Pro with the same EQ moves and then we'll hear it against the track. And by the way, if you like what you hear, head over to my Discord server and tell me about it. There's a link in the description. Just click there and tell me what you think. And if you don't like the way it sounds, just leave your comment below and I'll never read it. that's what the Phil Jones Bass Big Head Pro sounds like. And if you like what you hear, you wanna get one for yourself, please just click on any of those links that you find in the description. Yes, I get a very small commission out of it. So thank you in advance for helping to support the channel. Right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons and in particular, these names right here. Y'all are the MVPs. I couldn't do this without you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your support. Remember to like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Go buy some merch or come support the show over on Patreon. There's tons of awesome perks and great content waiting for you there. So thank you so much for watching. Stay well. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.